okay for getting concepts understanding it is very very important but you will agree when it comes to competitive examination there comes something which is numerical solving and for exactly. that we need speed we you need, need speed accuracy for that you have to go for practice yeah so what do we do where do we practice from practice as many number of problems hmm. as you can from the pyqs all right previous year available. questions yeah hmm. from the standard textbooks which are available you will That's suggest uh, solving questions of standard textbooks no i will suggest to go for like i have said that preparation for every exam will same hmm. but the level of questions asked in every examination is different yes so how will i get that level of questions mm-hmm. from pyqs only all right so let us suppose i am targeting for um, gale Mm-hmm. I'll do the PYQs of Gale only. Mm. So my base is same. All right. My knowledge is same. Gale is a PSU. Yeah, a lot a of people might not. If I'm uh, targeting ESE, mm-hmm. I'll solve the PYQs of ESE. I'll not solve the PYQs of Gale. Yes. yes because the yes, level yes. will be different. Yes. yes. Approach will be different. Mm. But the concepts will be same in both. Mm. So I have to fine tune my preparation as per the questions which are. asked there yeah that is very true so so that pyqs make the difference in the strategy for a particular examination hmm mm-hmm. yeah so at so least I'm, at least like one to two months before the examination you'll have to focus towards exactly. that because exactly. that is a particular kind of game almost yeah. and you'll have to understand the rules and you'll have to understand what should be the strategy exactly. of that game uh, i want to clarify that because you have emphasized on the importance of reading books a lot of people don't understand and they start solving the pre- the questions behind the textbook like after no, that no, chapter no. no for that exam it should not be done it right it should not be done yeah yeah so that's good for your semesters yeah so sir but not for a competitive exam yes sir what i uh, generally say is that there are infinite n- types of questions in this world you have to become specialized in the type of questions that you need to solve for exactly. that examination exactly so if you solve the questions of the textbook you will become very specialized in solving those kind of questions exactly. but when you get for the examination you will face some other kind of questions all right what do you say about let us say if i'm preparing for gate examination also solving engineering services previous year questions will have no both are totally different okay gate is aptitude based mm. okay and engineering services is knowledge based mm. all right so uh, again the uh, again syllabus will be same mm. but the approach of the problems which is being asked is totally different okay so if you are preparing for esc mm-hmm. and solving mm-hmm. a gate examination question paper mm-hmm. it will won't help you in esc okay if you are preparing for gate and you are solving pyqs mm-hmm. of esc it won't help you in mm-hmm. gate and you can you can track this also if you mm-hmm. see if you see the past 20 years record mm-hmm. very few instances will be there mm-hmm. that a topper of gate will also be a topper of esc mm. what's the reason behind it well i i have seen a lot of toppers who are toppers of esc not doing mm-hmm. well in gate but exactly. a lot of gate toppers doing very good in esc exactly the yeah. reason being gate is an aptitude based exam mm, okay if your aptitude is good mm-hmm. you can do the hard work yeah yeah but aptitude cannot be developed mm. in one month or two months uh, yeah that is impossible so a student doing good in gate has mm. very high chances to do good in esc also yeah 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 but a student do going good in esc mm-hmm. uh, not necessary will score good in gate also because gate will demand a new or mm-hmm. a different set of approach all right so uh, it might be different when it comes to branches also because yeah. i've i've heard to uh, people say that when it comes to ec solving engineering services question will definitely not help in gate examination yeah. but what my teachers used to say when it comes to mechanical engineering yeah and helps. mechanical yeah mm, it helps so it helps. Uh, when it comes to gate examination there will be few questions of one marks also so yeah. those quick questions if you are good at solving without even calculator required for you you will be able to solve that quickly in gate examination exactly. also exactly. and you'll gain a lot of time and mo- uh, in today's time mode is also different mm-hmm. yeah online online and offline mm-hmm. esc is offline and yeah. gate is online yeah, yeah, yeah. so that also makes a difference yes that makes the difference and that specially helped me in isro examination sir because isro is also offline no so giving engineering services prelims yeah. examination it helps because and uh, that will be true for any psu also for any psu yeah, yeah. no th- uh, it's helping you to gain the speed mm-hmm. but it's not helping you to mm-hmm. uh, fine tune your training for that particular exam mm-hmm. speed you can increase by solving any problem mm-hmm. all right so you have created thousands literally thousands of topics what do you see common see uh, the common thing among all the topics is dedication mm-hmm. they are dedicated if you are dedicated enough you can crack any exam it was not a rocket science it's the same which we have done in the engineering we have to reproduce that only in the exam so nothing 